Well, there, there are many reasons why uh, the, the movement of goods, uh, which is part of our, both our customs union and uh, common market pillar, uh, has encountered a number of, uh, of problems. You have to, to remember that uh, years ago, uh, we were really operating under very different standards. Uh, we did not have our laws harmonized on so many uh, trade-related matters. And uh, so these differences in standards, in rules of origin, uh, were actually one uh, of the main reasons why the countries uh, did not always trade smoothly. We have been working uh, at many levels uh, uh, on actually harmonizing our laws. And uh, we have been working on also infrastructure. Uh, the community has been engaged in, uh, in really an extensive program uh, of uh, building intra-regional uh, roads because we know that bad roads do not help movement of goods. They are actually uh, impeded uh, in that sense that uh, moving goods from one country to another uh, could take a long time, uh, which is not convenient to businesses. And uh, we have built, actually, at this point, we have roads interconnecting highways, uh, modern roads co connecting all ESC countries. One, some of the examples may include the road going from Mombasa to Holy Litaveta in Tanzania, and now uh, going up to Arusha. We are now uh, starting a new road between Tanzania and Burundi. And that's the Kasulu Manyovu, which goes through Nyanzalak, uh, Rumonge, and Bojumbura. And as I stated earlier, funding for building that road has been uh, uh, secured. We are also building another highway uh, between Tanzania and uh, Uganda, which will go through the Mutukula border. We are also working on uh, uh, securing uh, funding for the road which will connect Tanzania and Rwanda through Rusumo. So all these infrastructures uh, really do involve uh, EAC. Uh, we are now uh, working on, uh, on feasibility studies for railway, railway uh, projects, which will connect uh, actually most of our countries. Uh, now the, you know, the, the first section between Mombasa and Nairobi has been uh, completed. And the EAC was actually involved in, uh, in uh, uh, getting funding for feasibility studies for that road, for that uh, railway. And uh, we, you know that uh, Tanzania is also now uh, building a, what we call a, the standard gauge railway, which is a fast train. And uh, the section going from uh, Dar es Salaam to Morogoro has been completed. And that railway will actually go up to Burundi and Rwanda. Uh, so that it's not a project. Uh, you know, it's not a hypothetical uh, project. It's really a, a railway which is now being built. And uh, the United Republic of Tanzania has been able to fund, uh, up, up until now they are funding with their own resources, uh, the building of this railway. So the, this is about the we know that uh, uh, these roads uh, have already shown some very positive results in helping uh, movement of goods. If you compare with five to ten years ago, the now moving goods from uh, Mombasa to Kigali, to Kampala, to Kigali, to Burundi, is really taking a, a, a much shorter period than it did before. Now you can move these goods within four or five days from Mombasa and you come to Kampala to Rwanda. And uh, moving goods from Dar es Salaam to Bujumbura now is, is actually much faster than before. Mm -hmm. Overall in the community now we know we can move goods from uh, you know, the, the Indian Ocean, whether it's from Mombasa or from Dar es Salaam to, to Burundi within one week. You know? Before it used to take sometimes up to 21 to 30 days. We have been also working on uh, on customs procedures. Before, uh, as you know, we would have two border posts between uh, two countries. You would cross, going from Burundi, for example, you would have to stop first in one border post, uh, do the customs clearance, 
and do all the immigration paperwork, and then maybe 100 meters away, you will do the same. And that's why we created what we call the OSBPs, the One Stop Border Posts, whereby um, as a, a traveler or as a business person with your trucks, you just enter one building and immigration officers from the two countries are seated together. So you just do your custom clearance in one place. We have helped a lot in uh, actually facilitating uh, this clearance of goods and uh, this also um, uh, movement of people. And that is actually showing a lot of results. We have helped customs or uh, this, um, uh, for example, for the revenue authorities, uh, OBR in Burundi, TRA in Kenya, and uh, you know, in other countries. EAC has invested a lot of energy in making sure that these institutions uh, work in a modern way. Uh, and, uh, we have been involved with the capacity building, we're providing uh, state-of-art equipments, softwares, uh, which enable countries to actually uh, connect. And uh, uh, we are now moving towards what we call a single customs territory, and we feel that the logistics are pretty much in place and people will be able to just do their customs clearance in one place. So there will be one entry, one exit. So you don't have to do this paperwork in other ESC countries, just do from one country. So these are all things which are being done, and also there's the human factor. The human factor uh, would be you know, our people, uh, our administrations, which sometimes uh, do not have always the best practices, and uh, they hinder uh, customs transactions, um, and uh, we also uh, are aware of that. We have worked with countries to make sure that their officers in immigration offices, in customs offices, um, really um, uh, exercise the best practices and uh, help uh, trade.